police car chase through Malibu. Oh, that's not exciting. Nothing to do here. Would they be chasing anyways? That's true. Ambulance chasing a police car, which is chasing the bad guys, which are chasing the bad guys. That's dumb. <clears throat> helicopter, jumping out of a helicopter in the middle of the ocean. Done that multiple times, actually. Ice cream truck. Fine. Do it. The ice cream truck doing what? I don't know. <clears throat> Fire truck. Yes! Yes! I'm not driving though, am I driving? No, you're no. not driving. This is the first on five minute drive, I'm not driving. No. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it to the experts. All right. All right, let's All right. well let's okay. get in. All right. single day but uh, these guys are in charge of taking care of Malibu and making sure that you guys are safe and they know how to do their jobs. You said you're from New York but you were doing something else not too long ago before you became a fireman. Yeah before I was a fireman I worked as a fresh fire rescue and I worked at AMR but prior to that I was a bartender. What? <laughs> you were a bartender? I was. I was a bartender in Oregon and uh, here in California. How, how did you transition from being a bartender? I mean what happened? that caused this to happen? Well, you know, the biggest reason was I'm a former United States Marine, and so uh, I was doing the bartending gig, and I was opening up my own bar, and I was running into a lot of issues with getting my licenses and stuff for liquor. So a good friend of mine kind of took me under his wing and said, you know, I think the fire department's exactly what you're looking for. Wow. You know, as far as a, a, an actual place where firefighters get to not only do their job well, but enjoy such a beautiful place to do it in, this is quite an extraordinary town. Malibu is amazing. It is amazing. It really is. The views are breathtaking. The residents are, you know, just great people. They really appreciate what we do. And uh, it is. It's a, it's a beautiful place to work. That's
drills, we drill together. Right. We always drill together, whatever, whether it's throwing ladder, pulling hose, rope. We do a lot of rope stuff out here because, you know, we have the cliffs and there's a chance for rope rescues. How close are, are the TV shows that are on about firefighting? How close is that to the reality of, uh, of you guys doing your job? You yeah, guys, you guys know, watch those shows? Uh, I'm going to be honest with you, we don't have sex in this station. We're not making oh. up on a bunch of people okay. like that. Okay. And no, you cannot see that well when you're in a fire. <laughs> So, and well, in the show, if, if they can't see well, then the audience can't see, can't exactly. see me either, right? No, so. so, less drama. Yeah, much less drama. Less drama, okay. Yeah, less okay. Less drama. So, the best way to put it is that a fire ranger pumps water and a fire truck has that. Just that's that is the best way to look at it. Okay. So, my captain, Derek Bart, had been out here for a while and he said, okay, well, let's go up into the, into the cliffs and start driving. And so, as I'm going up these very narrow roads with a sheer drop on one side and the rest of the mountainside on the other, I kept telling him, we're not going to make it, I'm not going down, and he just started laughing and saying, no, no, go, go. And I kept thinking... And you were driving this thing? I was driving this, two hands, you know, really worried, man, we're going to go over, and uh, he just laughed, he kept saying, it's not Inglewood, is it? <laughs> no, no, it's not Inglewood. Are there hills in Inglewood? No. No, not really. Bumps, speed well, bumps, yeah. you know. What, what are some of the challenges that you deal with in driving around town just trying to get to... Uh, <laughs> Where you gotta go? You know, you would think as big as this thing is, people would see it, but a lot of times they uh, even with the uh, the sirens uh, going on, they uh, they uh, people sometimes are in a rush. Yeah, you know it is what it is. Uh, so you know you gotta be careful that uh, it doesn't stop on a dime. Yeah. Rule number one: if you're driving around a fire engine, don't pull right in front of it. No, no, it's a good idea not to do that. Uh, don't stay behind us because we're making a hole in traffic. That's not good either. Right, right. Uh, pull to the right. No drafting of the, uh, drafting of the trucks. Don't stop right in the middle of the road. Right. Pull to the right. That's yeah. what I say. Being a firefighter was something I wanted to do since, you know, a young age, since 83 when we were talking about the fires coming through Malibu and as soon as I got my license at 16, I became a Explorer, which is a volunteer cadet program. I did that with LA City, you know, up until age 21, you know, just ride along as a, I was on a truck, a busy station in LA City at 16 years old and I just loved it. So, so it's a 2007 KME, the model is a Predator. Okay. It's equipped with a uh, Caterpillar diesel truck engine, it's a 893 cubic inch engine, six cylinder, which pushes 410 horsepower. She's fitted with an air-to-air -air cooled turbo. Miles in transmission, she uh, weighs a little over 41,000 pounds, and that's without the tools on it. So again, that's saying it does not stop on a dime <laughs> with that much weight. The main pump has the capabilities to pump as much as 1,500 gallons per minute. It's got everything you can do with it. has bad incident, medical calls, wow. any kind of uh, forcible entry into a house we can take care of. So the, the engine is equipped with multiple tubes to uh, take care of uh, any type of call pretty much. Why this? Why, you know, what does this do for you, being a fireman? How, how is that rewarding for you? One, it actually it's humbling. Yeah. It's very humbling. Um, you know, we go on a lot of calls, uh, for me uh, in Inglewood and East LA, you go on a lot of calls and you, you see death and it's humbling, you know, you go home and you appreciate what you have, of course. Yeah. Um, and it's rewarding. It's extremely rewarding. I mean, the way I always see it is when someone's in trouble and no one can help them, they call us. Yeah. And so we get to go there and help them. We do everything at our station, like yeah. you said. We cook, we clean, we sleep, yeah. we do our laundry. It's our house. Ten days out of the month, that's our house. Yeah. And it becomes a family because so. Oh, yeah. This is a definitely a, my second family. Yeah. Yeah. Which is why these guys were, have been hassling me since the moment I got know. here. I've been trying right. to get them adopted for a long time, but no one else will take them. Yeah. <laughs> On behalf of uh, the entire town, we're uh, we're very grateful to have you guys here. Oh, it's our honor to do this. Trust me, every man and woman that wears this badge, I can honestly say, is honored to do it. Yeah.
aircraft carrier while in the air, you shoot off, land in the ocean, and go under the ocean. Wow. And rescue a fish. The tubes, they're really fast. I don't know what you're talking about. You're supposed to say another ride back to me. I know, but I don't know what that is. <laughs> I thought he was going to bite me. <laughs> Come here. I thought he was going to bite me. <laughs> Ow! Fire truck! Okay. <laughs> Ugh.